Meanwhile, the war in Bosnia continued. The Bosnian Serbs again shelling the supposedly safe areas of Bihać, Srebrenica, Gorazde and Sarajevo. The Bosnian capital is again a city under siege, running out of food and water. From there, ITN's Terry Lloyd reports. For the British in Sarajevo, the outlook is bleak. 34 of their fellow countrymen were taken hostage by warmongering Bosnian Serbs, and the city they're aiding is once again under siege. Gone is the electricity, the gas, and domestic water supplies. People are forced to travel for miles to collect what precious water they can find. The baker is running out of flour, and bread's been rationed to one third of a loaf per person every two days. We've been supplying the city for the last three years by air, by road, and from our contingency stocks. And at the moment, our contingency stocks are exhausted, and we have no way of getting food into the city. The Serb snipers are active, and Sarajevans are running for their lives, although the UN is managing to provide some cover. This is the latest primitive but effective anti-sniping device deployed by the UN, an armoured personnel carrier being used to shield pedestrians from a sniper firing from just down the road. The road across Mount Igman is dangerous and closed to relief convoys. The UN's frustrated that its mission has ground to a halt. Difficult. Lots of problems, few successes, uh, quite a few failures, strain to the limit, but morale still high. This evening, French peacekeepers who were taken hostage gathered on Mount Inkman, preparing to return to Sarajevo. In preparation for a night run over the mountain, they used mud to black up their white UN vehicles. Tonight, there was no easing off on the siege as the mortars and guns opened up again. Terry Lloyd, News at 10, Sarajevo.